Hi, cat. <laughs> Come and get some mango, baby. Self-awareness is a superpower. My name is Kathy LaDonna. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. I hope the free thinkers are doing well. And if you're not doing well, I'm happy to remind you that you are the most powerful person that you know. You are the most powerful person that you know because only you can create your reality. Hey guys, today is Tuesday, Rule by Mars Energy, January 23rd, and the energies in the day as of or reduced to number five vibration. If today is your birthday, happy birthday. So when it comes to the spirit animal, we are working with the mouse energy. Interesting. So I say interesting because the energies in the day adds up and reduce to number five vibration. And the number five is amplified because the day is the 23rd and two plus three is five. So with the number five energy, I find that we might find ourselves moving too fast and super distracted. And because we're moving too fast and super distracted by many things, certain things can we can miss out on certain things that's happening right in front of us. And also, too, when I think of the number five energy, I think of a person's ability to smooth operate and sell salt to a snail type of vibe. So with the number five energy in the day, the thought that's coming to mind is someone moving so fast to the point that they overlook something like in a, on a day like today, you want to slow yourself down. You want to slow yourself down. You want to slow things down on a whole because you could find yourself moving so fast, so fast to the point that you misplace something or so fast to the point that you're, you get finesse because you are moving too fast because you didn't allow yourself to pay attention. Like the energies in today reminds me of someone signing something and they didn't notice the fine prints. And what's in the fine print could have been set out to intentionally deceive them. But at the same time, because they were moving so fast, they overlooked it. The energies in today also reminds me of like, say naturally your intuition will call you out on certain things. Like someone is, you know, they, they, they smooth operating a situation. And normally your intuition would have been peep what was happening but I guess because like busy doing too much, it's like you overlook it, you miss it. Um, I just get the feeling of something is missed. Something is overlooked. Venus enters into Capricorn today. Capricorn is the ruler of the day because Mars is, you know, Mars, Mars rules over Tuesday and Mars is in Capricorn conjunct Mercury. So with Mars and Capricorn conjunct Mercury, Mars is our motivation. We're motivated by communication information, probably communicating about our goals, legacy, business. Uh, when I think of Mars and Capricorn energy, ooh, Mars and Capricorn conjunct Mercury. So one thing with Capricorn energy, Capricorn energy deals with business. And I always say that anything could be a business. Anything could be a business, even something that is considered to be the most nefarious. And with Mars and Capricorn and Venus and Capricorn and the mouse energy coming out as a spirit animal, um, providing some kind of a guidance, it brings me to the thought of, um, it brings me to the thought of some like someone doing what they feel like they got to do in the name of business, but not might not be beneficial to you. An example of that is I think of someone who, okay, so 
I'll hear stories about how in the trading, the trading industry, a lot of people were introduced to Forex and Forex is not something that I'm into, but a lot of the videos on YouTube are about that and I, and I watch a lot of them. But a lot of people will enter into the word world of Forex from being recruited by recruiters who bring them into Forex um, by telling them about investing, but then only for them to get in to realize it's not about and um, that the people who recruited them are getting them in to go and recruit other people also. So it's almost like there's a level of deception when it comes to the business that they're doing where they bring you in under one impression, but then they sell you something else. And a lot of people I'll follow on YouTube will get introduced that way, but then they realize that they don't want to go around recruiting people. And there's nothing wrong with recruiting people, but I think there is something wrong when you're recruiting someone and you're deceiving them. You know, you're deceiving someone in order to make a buck. And I feel like when we deceive people to make a buck, we're selling our souls because we literally, we know that we're causing pain. We know that we're hurting. We're lying to get somebody's money. I just, I feel like consequences come with that. And me and my brother was talking about karma the other day and talk about karma. Capricorn is ruled by Saturn and I feel like Saturn's energy deals with karma. And like I've said in all my videos, I feel like karma is learned behavior. We are taught what good and bad is. And from us expecting our punishments or our rewards, we manifest that into our lives. They're doing lawn work outside. And uh, so you might hear banging and loud noises or whatnot. Hopefully not. But um, we were talking about karma. And uh, so he was saying to me, so what if someone takes someone's life? And I was saying, well, you know, I feel like, you know, think of soldiers on both sides who are going to war for in, in the name of their God. They don't feel like they're doing anything wrong or I don't think most of uh, some of them don't think they're doing something wrong because they're trying to protect their home and family. But both sides feel like they're trying to protect their home and family. And I think about like, you know, when I used to feel so guilty about saying no to family and things like that. And I remember I would think, you know, God's going to punish me and things like that. And like a story I shared with you guys, it wasn't until the India RE song started playing in my head, all that matters is what you think of yourself. I realized what I project onto myself is what I will create. But then when I think of the person who takes someone's life or the person who scams someone or whatever, in order to do things, you have to embody a certain energy in order to do a thing. So, I guess when I think of karma, the person who takes someone's life or hurts someone or tortures someone or whatnot, they have to also embody that frequency in, in order to do that. So it's like, even though they might take someone's life and they're still living, they're still living with that energy. That frequency will always be a part of them. So to a certain extent, they also suffer even though they're still here. Like they keep reliving and going through that frequency, that energy keeps, you know, is, is a part of them. So I guess I was thinking about the person who cons or whatnot, even though they get money, I feel like they got to spend their whole life conning. It's like, it's like every minute they think they're ahead only for them to get set back and they think they're ahead, they get set back. I just feel like energy, life is a whole energy game and whatever energies we partake in, that's the kind of energy we're embodying. So yeah, when a person thinks they're being slick and pulling a fast one, they're only, they're only pulling one on themselves because they'll forever remain in that frequency, in that energy, in that stagnant energy. And when it comes to the tarot, we have the page of wands in the upright position. And the page of, page of wands brings me to moving forward, taking action, looking for change. But when I think of this page of wands, I don't know why I'm thinking about Sag energy and someone being optimistic. It's like I'm thinking of the fool energy to a certain extent. It's like someone is so excited and ready to turn a page when it comes to something to the point that they're they're not considering all of the information make sure you're considering all of the information 
when it comes to anything that needs to be done today, any paperwork that needs to be signed, make sure you're looking at all the facts. Make sure you're not assuming someone is cool because you think they're cool. Like just because you think they're cool, who cares? Like still look at the facts, still look at the fine print, still look at the details. Like don't allow the way you think or feel about someone to cause you to skip any steps when it comes to whatever needs to get done is what I'm thinking. The moon is in cancer today. The moon in cancer is a part of a trine, positively aspecting Jupiter in Taurus and Saturn in Pisces. So what I love about the positive aspect being made to the moon is that our inner world is in a place where we're optimistic about creating stability and security for ourselves. And we're able to look at ways how we could, you know, follow some kind of a structure in order to do so. The challenging aspects being made by the moon, our inner world moon is in Cancer and it's opposing Mars conjunct Mercury in Capricorn and Venus in Capricorn. So the opposition being made to the moon is and OK, so now I see the mouse energy different also. So another way how I'm seeing the mouse energy is the mouse representing us being timid, fearful because our inner world is in Cancer and yes, we could see ways how we could create structure, stability for ourselves and, you know, go about it in an organized, structured way. But at the same time, the opposition uh, in Capricorn is saying that we need to come out of our comfort zone. I think of the person who, you know, wants to wants freedom and we are in the era of information and you know, a way one could create freedom for themselves is by doing something when it comes to information, communication. But at the same time with that moon and cancer, we don't want to put ourselves out there to where we might be wrong. We might feel exposed. We are open to criticism. We are open to attacks. You know, a lot happens when you put yourself out in the open. And with the moon and cancer, it's like we don't want to put ourselves out there or we're terrified at the thought of putting ourselves out there. So we're seeing ways to make our lives better, but it might require us putting ourselves out there and that's terrifying. So when I look at these energies here now, another way that I'm seeing these energies is, you know, we're ready for a fresh start and the fresh start will require you not being scared like a mouse. That's it. You're ready for a fresh start. And the first start will require you not being scared like a mouse. And the energies in the day adding up to the number five energy. The number five brings sudden and unexpected changes. So on a day like today, we could find ourselves, you know, you left the house and you started the day with one intention only for the day to end going from one extreme to the next. Nothing you planned played out the way how you planned. So on a day like today, I encourage alarm clocks and to do lists in order to make the most of the day, especially if you have important things to get done today. But opportunities and blessings come from a day like this where, you know, plans don't go as we expected. And when plans don't go as you expect on a day like today, you know, let it go. Let things go the way how they're going, because there's an opportunity and blessing that will come from the chaos. So if things are chaotic or your life feels a little bit chaotic at the moment, just trust that you're going to land right where you need to. Trust that things are going to bring you where you got to go. A day like today brings me to the feeling of like a glitch in the matrix. And it is from those glitches in the matrix, you know, things fall out of the random mundane cycles and unexpected opportunities and things happen. So on a day like today, if things seem chaotic and all over the place, just trust it and trust it and expect the best. Trust it and expect that things are going to work out for you. Such a pleasure sharing this message with you. If you'd like to book a natal chart awareness coaching session with me or check out my exclusive content only available on Patreon, the links for that is in the description box below. Before you go anywhere, please let me know you're here with me by dropping me a blue heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you and look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Love yourself as if your life depended on it because it does. Take care of yourself and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.